Hello beautiful ladies, today we are diving into the fascinating world of Marilyn Monroe, the ultimate Hollywood icon born in 1926 in Los Angeles, California. Marilyn stole the spotlight in the 1950s with her unmatched beauty and charisma. She's not just a movie star, she was a symbol of femininity and pop culture that still mesmerizes us today. Till this day, her look is copied by many celebrities over and over. Her charm and unique aura stuck with every generation. Marilyn Monroe was a siren archetype. Siren archetype represents a woman who is alluring, seductive, and captivating, often using her beauty and charm to attract and seduce men. Marilyn Monroe embodied the siren archetype through her sensuality and charm. She utilized her mental and physical attribution to attract not only men, but the world. Sirening is a technique that Marilyn used to maintain her seduction and appeal. Later in the video, I'm going to discuss her sirening techniques. Marilyn Monroe was extremely feminine, known for becoming the greatest female legend of cinema. The story of Marilyn Monroe makes its glamour and tragedy at the same time. Marilyn was actually a character with an ideal beauty standard, fully assembled to gain the attention of the media and the public. The way she dressed carried herself looking put together and dressed for a male gift possessed all the characteristics of a siren archetype. She wasn't scared to be portrayed as dumb and blonde. She enjoyed the attention and being considered a sex symbol. If she didn't act like Marilyn, her beauty wouldn't have turned heads. According to her, I can walk like that and no one would notice until I switch into Marilyn and everyone is going to slow down and start noticing that was her charm. She created Marilyn Monroe. She wasn't dumb but she had full control over how people perceived her. From her body language to the way she walked, talked and dressed, she mastered all of the seduction techniques and molded herself according to what men or society were into. No woman is born elegant and charming. You just created yourself. It's not fake. It's an art that women should pick themselves. She was a receiver. She wasn't ashamed to receive expensive gifts from men. It doesn't mean she was a gold digger but she worked for it through pleasing the eyes of people around her with her charm and sophistication. It's like an artist creating an art and then putting it in the auction. Siren are known to be glamorous, their hair is always voluminous, they smell good and their makeup is focused on the dreamy look. As a siren, Marilyn completely nailed her appearance, from her hair to her makeup to her wardrobe, everything was in point. She knew how to highlight her curves in all the right places without showing too much. It was all about balance and leaving a little something to the imagination. Her eyeliner and false lashes accentuate her bedroom looking eyes, as she lifted her eyes felt like she is drowsy and dreamy, a great tool for seduction. The red signature lipstick made her look healthy and young. Her hair was not naturally blonde but as she became Marilyn, she started dyeing her hair every week. She liked being blonde, her hair gave her the identity she had. She didn't change her style a lot. The way she kept her style consistent is the indication of a strong feminine energy. It shows she was happy and satisfied with how she looked every day and she didn't get bored of her everyday style. Marilyn's style was iconic and one of her best charms. She had a seductive figure, curvy feminine body, therefore she wore mainly tight-fitted dresses to emphasize her beautiful curves. The fabric she chose were light and airy so as she walked it looked flowy and moved along with her movements. She picked what looked good on her. She chose the best ratio when it came to showing skin. When she had exposed shoulders and chest area then she didn't show her legs and vice versa. It is to keep the focus of eyes on one focal point rather than on too many spots. Without her femininity no one would have remembered Marilyn. Marilyn's charm wasn't just skin deep. She had this way of making you feel like the center of the universe when she talked to you. It was like she could see right into your soul with those mesmerizing eyes and that soft voice of hers. It could melt even the coldest hearts. Marilyn was sexy but at the same time she had a childlike innocence and vulnerability to her. She had a soft voice and sexy movements to her flow when she walked which made her extremely feminine. She studied seduction and studied for hours to master her makeup and body language to attract men. She created an alter ego where she could switch from Norma jeans to Marilyn in the blink of an eye. 
She mixed her style along with her psychological tactics or sirening to create a charmful present. When she smiled, she made a soft giggling sound that gave her the innocence while her feminine walk gave her sexy aura. She mixed innocence and sexy and created a divine allure. She used her eyes to fully captivate people she was talking to. She didn't stare into one's eyes but instead she slowly stared at their eyes and lips as if she's about to kiss them. This technique made one look super confident and attractive. She controlled her every movement from blinking to moving her lips. She spoke in a soft airy voice with pauses in between her words. She didn't show her gums while talking. These techniques made her delicate and classy. Her movements were smooth, almost made her look as if she's in a slow motion movie. Men were attracted to her because she was perceived as innocent and vulnerable. She didn't overly depend on herself but rather gave men opportunity to be her caretaker. A feminine woman acts like a princess. She's rare and delicate and when people take care of her, it doesn't make her feel less but rather confident. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more videos like these.